Hey, Facebook friends. Uh, today is day, I don't know if it's 26 or 27 of my live posts. Um, I've just uh, had a super busy day, got up, did my meditation this morning, went to work, and then went and worked out and pulled a butt muscle. Like seriously, I pulled a butt muscle doing the stairs. Um, so nothing like a little bit too much too soon. <laughs> Anyway, now I'm home and uh, getting ready to try to hit the bed early because I got a big day tomorrow. Anyway, so um, today I want to talk about, I've gotten a lot of feedback from the last video that I did, or not video, but the post that I did on Instagram. And I just wanted to talk about that a little bit. Body image, body love. Um, so, you know, those of you that don't know, I grew up in a family of... Um, a huge family, right? I'm the youngest of 13. And I grew up in a family of obesity. Like um, most of my family members um, are or were at some time obese. And I've always been the only one who isn't. But when you are really close with your family, it's really common to feel the feelings of your family members. Um, again, as an empath, that's what I did. And so even though I have never been grossly obese. I know what it feels like to be obese. Like I know in my soul, in my body, I know what it feels like to be grossly obese because I was totally enmeshed with my family and I felt every single one of the feelings that they felt. And so the struggles that they went through being obese and um, it's like it was me. I was having those experiences. And so my whole life, I went through my whole life thinking that I was really large. And in my marriage, um, my ex-husband was fatophobic. And so, you know, there were things that were said that were really cruel, um, comments made about my body all the time. My physicality was very much a topic of of uh, interest, of discussion, of control. And so I you know, started very young age developing um, body dysmorphia, which is when you don't see your body for how it actually is. When you actually think that you, you don't have a, a realistic view of what you see in the mirror. And so when I look in the mirror, I see myself as a 250 pound woman. I've done a lot of training around that. I've done a lot of um, uh, healing, a lot of recovery, a lot of therapy around that so that I can, you know, have a clearer picture of letting go of that. I grew up, I had eating disorders. I was bulimic and anorexic. And a lot of people don't know that about me. That's not something that I just openly share. And I got into the bodybuilding world when I was in my mid-20s. And I decided that I was going to do competitive bodybuilding because it was like a acceptable way for me to abuse my body. It was an acceptable way for me to never be satisfied with my body because you are always trying to make your physicality be good enough for whoever. And so it was a really big deal for me to put myself out there physically because no matter how thin I was, no matter how much I weighed, no matter what I looked like, uh, it was never enough. I was never thin enough. I was never strong enough. I was never built enough. So like in the bodybuilding world, it's like you just basically stand before judges and let them tell you if you're good enough. And it's sort of like a thing that you can never win because it's always determined by what the judge decides and who, whatever the judge decides, maybe that year they like more of a muscular physique or maybe the next year they want you to look softer and more feminine. And it's just sort of this no win thing. And so, um, yeah, it really messed with my head. And so um, I went through and I became totally addicted to cardio. I would spend three hours on the treadmill. And then I would spend an hour doing really heavy weight training, all so that I could look a certain way. And I never reached it, never. In all the years that I spent, I actually developed a thyroid disorder from too much steady state cardio, which is actually a thing. 
um, because I was trying so hard to fit this unrealistic picture that we all have this this like idea that we look at magazines and we look at you know photographs and we look at movies and we get this idea of what beautiful is of what um, a woman's body should look like and it's so unrealistic and so the thing is is like somebody said this to me once and it just really struck home they said it's like you know, we are all like beautiful flowers, right? So we're all a beautiful flower. And if you look at the flowers in the, the you know, the all over the world, you know, a rose doesn't look at a tulip and say, oh, I wish that I was a tulip. A tulip doesn't look at a daisy and say, oh, if only I could have beautiful white petals. And a daisy doesn't look at an orchid you know, and say, if only I could grow like that. It's just, it's absolutely stupid and ridiculous that we as women and men too, because I know that this is not a topic that's only, you know, limited to women. I know a lot of men who suffer from body dysmorphia. There's something called reverse anorexia in the bodybuilding world where men feel like they're never big enough. They, their muscles are never big enough. They're never strong enough. Um, and it's like they, you know, I have a friend who's got a freaking incredible body and looks in the mirror and sees himself as you know skinny and small so it's it's universal it's not just women it's all of us and so the thing that I'm doing that I did with my post of posting the pictures of me where I you know they're my least favorite photos right so it's so funny because I looked at those photos like a little bit later and I'm like, you know, they're not that bad. But I remember when I first looked at them, it was like, oh my God, you can totally see all of the cellulite on my legs. You can see, um, you know, the wrinkles, you can see the rolls in my belly. And I just like stared at them and, and it was just like, oh, that feeling in my gut, like what the hell was I thinking? Why in the world did I post a video of me doing yoga on the beach in the broad daylight? Like I was in the sunlight, you could see everything. And I started to like go into that mode of like self, um, you know, just that self-defeating. And it was like, wait a minute, I don't really think that anymore. That's just an old program that's been completely, uh, drilled into my head. But the truth is like, what is the truth? What do I really feel about my body? Well, I love my body. I have a freaking amazing body. It can do so many things. Even with my injury, I love my injured arm, my legs, my thick thighs, my thunder thighs, whatever, my big old booty. It's like, it's the body that I was given. And I don't look at anybody's body and think it should be any different than it is. I just look at their body and take it at face value and realize that's what we all do. And so I don't believe anymore that there's something wrong with me. There's not something wrong with my body. I no longer believe that I have to fit this particular standard. You know, as a fitness professional, it's like, I can't be your personal trainer if I have body fat. Guess what? Fitness professionals really think that. I'm serious. We all think, oh, well, I can't really be a good instructor unless I can, you know, defeat the world's. I can't be a yoga instructor because I'm not super, you know, I'm not a yogi body. And it's just, it's fucking ridiculous. I'm sorry, but it just is. And pardon my French, but it really, seriously. So my little rant of love your body, right? You have an amazing, beautiful body, whatever it looks like, whether you are carrying extra pounds, whether you wish you could gain weight, whether you have an injury and you're not able to uh, participate in the way that you want to in your physicality, it's like it's just where you are right now. So like for me, having taken so, you know, so many years of beating up my body, and finally getting to this place where it's like, everything is okay. It's just for the moment. Right now I'm injured and I can't work out, but that's okay because it's not gonna be forever. And right now I'm carrying extra weight, but it's not gonna be forever. I might get bigger. I might lose more weight. Doesn't really matter. The point is, is like who I am, like who I am, who you are, is like right here, right here, right here, has nothing to do with 
this external casing that your soul and your spirit lives in. And that's what we see when we walk around and we interact with people. When I interact with people, I see their energy. I see their spirit. I see who they are. And I really believe that mostly that's how, that's how the world sees us. There's sure there's those judgmental, critical people who are going to rip you apart, but you know what? That's them. That's on them. That's their own security insecurities coming out. So Anyway, that's my little rant that I just really want to share with all of you to love your body. So my challenge to you is to go into your house, look in the mirror, take off all of your clothes and stare at your body. Turn around, do the full 360 and find everything that you love about your body. Everything that you love about your body. Don't look at the cellulite. Don't look at the, the flab. Don't look at the rolls. Don't look at the bumps. Don't look at the, the thing you hyper-focus on, your nose, your, you know, I have bad toes. You know, as a hairdresser, I see beautiful people sitting in my chair every day. And the first thing that comes out of their mouth is, oh, well, if you could help me hide this big nose, or I have really big ears, or um, if you could make me look like I'm 10 pounds thinner. And it's just like, they don't see the beauty that I see. And I just wish that I could help flip this. I wish that I could help flip all of the craziness that's out there of people not loving themselves, of people not loving their bodies, of people having this idea that they should look any different than they already do. And that's one of the things that I struggle with in my fitness industry is because I'm in the industry where it's like it, it's permeated with this idea that you're not enough as you are. And yes, you should exercise. Yes, you should eat right because our body was designed to move, not because you should look different. It's because it feels good and it makes you stronger and healthier. And there's so many health benefits. That's why you should exercise. That's why you should eat right. Not because you should look a certain way. So there it is. <laughs> there's my rant. Um, I just sincerely, if you do that exercise, if you do look in the mirror and look at your body, would you please comment on this post the thing that you love about yourself? Look for all the things that you think, yeah, that's pretty awesome. I really like that about me. I would love that. It would be so great if you could just comment on here and let all of the other people who see this video, let all of the other people who are in the same struggle that you are, because I know you are. I got so much feedback on that post. And I know that this is a hot topic and I know that it's a touchy subject that let's, let's encourage one another. Let's do that. Let's, let's have, let's keep this conversation going. Tell me something you love about you. And I just want to challenge you to stop looking in the mirror and stop finding things that you don't like because it's all bullshit. You are a beautiful human being and nobody expects you to look any different than you do than you. You're the only one. You're the only one who has the picture in your head that you don't match. Everybody else thinks you're pretty fucking awesome, including me. So there it is. There's my rant. Love all of you. Bye.